The University of Tennessee's quest to be a top 25 research institution starts with students. Students solving problems and making discoveries. The 15th annual Exhibition of Undergraduate Research and Creative Achievement, or Eureka, celebrates that process. That's why we're using that acronym, even though we had to kind of tweak it a little bit, but to, to uh, play on that Greek word about uh, the explanation of, of joy upon discovering something new. And so that's what this is all about, is undergraduate students being involved in, in discovering and creating new. Working with faculty mentors, students develop research projects and creative presentations, from scientific formulas and calculations to the abstract. A lot of what I do in my studio practice, I can relate to like a lab practice, you know, in a science lab or something. Um, I'm constantly taking notes in my sketchbook and asking for feedback and my, making like minor tweaks and things like that and seeing how those can make like larger impacts, you know, by the, the colors that I use or the size. Even though this is my senior semester, I have never done anything like this before, so it's, it was very intense as far as preparing and making sure I had all my, uh, my work done, going into the uh, motions of it, finding out what's wrong, finding out why it's that way, then trying to th be creative and think of solutions for it. It's a really interesting process. <laughs> Designs everywhere. Um, design decisions need to be made in whatever project you're doing, whether it's layouts or biology or architecture. There's definitely a lot of emulants that you need to um, use your expertise to put together a final product. I guess you could say anything that's in the realm of discovery, whether it's scientific research discovery, whether it's creative discovery, whether it's performance discovery, um, anything that falls in the research and creative activities realm is something that we want to promote and then we want to exhibit. Faculty mentors provide direction and sometimes another viewpoint. If I came up with something, he'd be like, well, that's a good idea, but why don't you look at it from this way? And so him adding a different perspective to my work really uh, helped me do what I did. Sharon may just come into my studio and kind of hang out for a couple of seconds, look around, and then be like, you should check out these artists. And then she'll walk away and come back and, and drop off some of her personal books, which has just been so helpful. The research competition is challenging, but the benefits reach beyond the discovery. I guess my project's a little different since it's a portfolio, so it's very personal to me. Um, it's compiling all the work I've done for five years into one book, and to me it's very, um, it's a huge accomplishment for me to have all of those work completed in one book that I can say, this is my UT experience as an architecture student. Not only do they contribute to the scholarship that's going on on campus by their undergraduate activity in, in research and creative activity, but then they also prepare themselves to be able to compete better for graduate school. If they want to go on and be that next level of people that create what's going to be new in their field uh, going forward. So it's absolutely part of the continuum, I guess you would say, of what it means to be a research university. In the end, the process results in growth, and that makes a difference in students' lives. It's five years of um, growth and a lot of knowledge learned during those years and it's definitely changed me as a person.